Hi, this is Zolabs, and today I just want to share this um, news from CNN. Credit to CNN, actually, um, about the um, death of Kobe Bryant due to helicopter crash. And uh, it's been a sad day hearing those uh, report, knowing that uh, we have witnessed the success. And this is a sad day to the fans of Black Mamba. And uh, Black Mamba is one of the great leaders in the NBA history. And I hope that your soul will rest in peace. CNN is able to tell you now that NBA star Kobe Bryant was on board that helicopter and is now dead at the age of 41. Our Christine Brennan is with us now on the phone. So, oh, there you go. Um, all right, we're able to see you. Christine, tell us what you know and uh, how this confirmation was made. Uh, Fred, this is tragic and terrible news. And as people are hearing this news now confirmed by CNN and other news organizations, it is hitting them uh, as uh, just one of the uh, most unthinkable uh, th things you could have here. Um, uh, CNN has confirmed this news. Uh, Kobe Bryant, 41 years old, had retired uh, just a few years ago from the NBA after a stellar career, one of the greatest ever, Hall of Fame. Uh, he played only uh, his entire career with one team, the Lakers, and in many ways he was the Los Angeles Lakers. So when you think of Kobe Bryant, it's sports, but it's more than sports. He is, a, he was a part of our culture, uh, Olympic teams, uh, Hollywood, a, a, the father of four daughters. So recently he has been seen at women's sporting events, supporting the U.S. women's soccer team, uh, WNBA games with his girls, uh, and all about uh, the empowerment of young women as well. Controversy, of course, uh, allegations of sexual assault many years ago, but he overcame that and has become such a, a cultural icon and, and such not just about sports, but about uh, our culture and, and a, a huge piece of Americana. And so that's why this news is absolutely tragic, stunning and a shocker. I'm sure that as people are listening in and finding out about this, they are as shocked as I was when I heard the news. It, it's, it's truly awful. Oh, it is heartbreaking and to see these beautiful images of he and his wife, Vanessa, and their four daughters. And one of his most recent projects, I mean, this NBA star, you know, had also started this like children's, you know, book uh, program and was branching out into, you know, animation, cartoons, edu as an educational tool uh, for kids. He was very conscientious, Christine, of the power of his celebrity and taking it beyond, you know, his five you know, NBA championship title, you know, perimeter, but making it much more broad and affecting a lot of people. And that is why this news, it would be devastating anyway for anyone to lose their life, mm -hmm. but then to have it be someone who has, has left the sports arena and has become part of our lives in so many ways. The Academy Awards. Uh, you mentioned uh, his work in movies, his work in animation, his work with children's books. And looking ahead at the age of 41, still very young, uh, looking ahead to a life and a career in all of those facets of, of, uh, of media and of working for good. Um, this is a man who he came right out of high school, right to the NBA and uh, has been one of those names and one of those people that has been around us for a very long time. Uh, we're, we're in love with uh, athletes on a first name basis, uh, some of the biggest names, and certainly Kobe has always been one of those. And um, so yes, looking ahead, retired a few years ago from the NBA, but not retired from our lives and not, uh, not going away. And in fact, uh, being a part of, as I said, as you said too, the culture and, and entertainment and showing up at the Academy Awards and being at places uh, and big places, a, a big personality, a person who had so many more things to do. And I think uh, 
if he had just been a basketball player and just been a great basketball player. That by itself would have made this news, of course, as stunning and as tragic as, as, as it is right now. But then because of the promise of what was yet to come and the fact that he would have had another 30, 40 years in the spotlight and was going to embrace those years, um, it's just, uh, again, it's... It's really, it's awful news, it's terrible, and, um, and of course it's something that I think we're all just coming to grips with right now. You know, Christine, I just watched a documentary last week that involved him and, and, and helped you remember what that retirement, that moment was like for him when he walked into the Staples Center and, and talked about how, you know, appreciative he was of uh, Los Angeles and the Lakers of allowing him to grow up of teaching him, you know, to be a more giving player, what it was to become a team player. I mean, remarkable that audiences, you know, were just reminded of that yesterday. Talk to me about your memories about how we watched him grow up with this huge responsibility, you know, of being a professional athlete and, and being a rising star and, and how he grew and learned um, about the responsibility, uh, you know, of being a high profile athlete. Well, you're right. You know, he was a kid when we first heard about him. He's, he's coming out of high school right to the NBA. And and we know how hard that is because the players have done it. LeBron James certainly has done it. Kobe did it. But it's rare. And it's rare that the stories would the arc of the story would be uh, so successful and just so majestic. And uh, Kobe did learn. He talked about the mistakes he made. Uh, he was a kid. He's you know, he's he's good. He goes uh, from high school right to the L.A. Lakers and a spotlight that New York, L.A., maybe Chicago. You know, there's so few places that that spotlight burns so brightly. And and Kobe embraced it and went right into that. And uh, of course, there were issues. And and well, it's it seems terrible to mention at this moment of his death that we're talking about the the sexual assault uh, allegations, the trial. That that was that was a terrible moment, and that was not good. Um, uh, obviously, I'm not going to sugarcoat that at all. But uh, what, within those mistakes, there was also learning. And there was also a sense from him, as we saw, as I mentioned a little bit ago with his daughters, of, of wanting to be a part of showing them this new world for women and opportunities for women and girls. And so uh, as you look at the arc of his life and his career and you look at how he's grown uh, and became uh, just a, a stalwart in our culture, in the community, and as I said, the things that could have been uh, coming forward over the next uh, 20, 30 years in his life. I mean, that is uh, the tragedy is losing him, uh, what he has done, the history of Kobe, Hall of Fame, one of the great names in sports and one of the great performers ever in the NBA and throughout sports, but also uh, the promise of what he uh, could do in our culture moving forward. Even though he was mm -hmm. retired, there was so yeah. much more yet to come yeah, yeah, for As Kobe. a 41-year-old 41, 41 man, still a very young man uh, who could continue to make an impact and still will, I'm sure even posthumously. Uh, Christine, thank you so much.